Welcome. You hear me talk a lot about planning, having goals. You have to be focused, you have to stay dedicated, you have to sacrifice. The one thing I forget, one of the toughest things to add to all of that is balance. I'll tell you from my own experience. You can get so far on what you're doing that you're so focused on a lot of things, you forget what's most important to you. And the people that you leave aside and forget again what is truly important. Let me tell you today, you cannot let this happen. You have to remember why you're doing it is what you're doing. And who is it for? And what do you really want? Does your dedication to achievement give the people that are closest to you something better? Does it make a difference to them what you're doing? You have to find what I call your balance. This is not an easy task. For me, I have to keep the balance. It has to be planned. I have to plan it. I have to stay dedicated to it. I have to dedicate time for all those people I love. I really have to dedicate time. No calls, no canceling, no postponements, no excuses. Listen, each of you know what I'm talking about. And if you say there's not enough time in a day or I don't have enough time, it's all a cop out. You make the time for what's important. Again, why are you doing it is what you're doing. Who is it for? Don't leave those people out. Here's your exercise. Today, write a list of all the benefits that will happen by you accomplishing your goal. Who does your goal benefit? Who does it make better? Who is involved in your accomplishments? Does it make lives better? You must, and again, must do this, or the consequences are devastating. The best, best exercise I've ever done to wake up and realize I was off balance is this. Do this today. Make a wheel, just like this. Draw six lines on the wheel, each line representing different things. A line for your career, a line for financial, a line for spiritual, a line for family, a line for health, and a line for mental health. Now number each of those lines one to 10. 10 being the highest, one being the lowest. Now grade yourself on each line. How you believe you are right now, not how you want to be today. Now, what is your commitment level right now today to each part of your life? Here's the test, <laughs> connect the dots. The best balance should be a circle, like a wheel that could roll. Now if it's a small wheel, it has to roll really fast, but the bigger wheel, meaning that you're getting the accomplishments of what you have, can roll and roll on for long term. Now it's up to you to get your wheel to roll. You need to do this about every six months. If you don't, time just moves on and you'll easily go back to being off balance. Good life balance is one of the toughest things you'll ever hear me talk about. Why? Because it's a struggle for myself. I get so focused and so dedicated in what I'm doing, I have to make sure I keep the people I love with me, keep the time with them, also keeping time with my faith and my health and keeping my mind in check and always remembering why it is I'm doing what I'm doing. It's not just for me, it's for a lot of other people. Make your life balance wheel, write your benefits of your accomplishments and who it'll benefit. Don't allow yourself to get so off balance that the wheel won't roll. One of the best authors I know, Dr. Seuss, said it great in the book, Oh, the Places You Will Go. Step with care and great tact and remember that life's a great balancing act. Never forget to be dexterous and deft and you'll never mix up your right foot with your left. And as always, have some fun and make some dreams come true.